Welcome to the Nora Searle Field at Nathaniel Framingham Stadium. I'm Mika Gatt, along with Brad Crandall to commentate a little bit of girls varsity soccer. We got the Dover Sherburn Raider ladies versus the Medfield Lady Warriors. Should be a fun game, should be a good game. Dover Sherburn starting with the ball, should be fun. What do you think, Brad? You know what, it's perfect weather out here. Absolutely. It should be fun. I think uh, DS is due for a win today. I know, tough game earlier today with the JV one. Uh -huh. But so Dover Sherman doing pretty good so far. Control of the ball, playing up. Great so play so far by the captains of Hope Shoe, Kate Masturbono, Annie Perizzo coming into the game, the three captains. Definitely the best leaders on the team. Make everyone better on the team and just make hopefully lead this team to a win. Absolutely. They definitely proved themselves to be the captains since uh, last season. Absolutely, absolutely. Great captains last year, great captains this year. Mm -hmm. That's Abby DeSalvo kicking the ball up to the side. Number 18, who is Waverly Sumner, the sophomore. Yeah, their numbers are so small. Right? I know, yeah. especially when you're on the other side <laughs> so of the field, it's tough to see. It really is. I think that was number eight. Yeah, that, that was Lily Thompson. Thompson. Yep. yep. Absolutely. I think she was just outside of being voted a captain. She was also playing really well, but, but she also has a history of getting injured during soccer, so didn't want to take the risk there. I think she was yeah. out all year last year with an injury for her ankle, I'm pretty sure. I know all about being injury prone. Absolutely, Brad. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, it's no fun. Yeah. That's midfield goalie about to kick it off. Definitely a full game ahead of us. Should be fun. I've always thought it was interesting how the goalies don't have to um, wear the uniforms, you know? Yeah, well, they just do it just so they can differentiate themselves from the rest of the team. So Courtney Mahoney right now is Mahoney is playing goalie for DS, but that's Ava Kaplan trying to track down the ball, but that goes out of bounds. To, that the Medfield Warriors take the control of it. But overall, Courtney got some big shoes to fill. You got taken over from senior Sabrina Doyle last year, who was doing an outstanding job at goalie. But I think she, has, she definitely has the coach, Coach Everett, who's been doing excellent job as the Lady Raiders coach, but should be fun. Should be fun to watch her grow as just a goal and hopefully do really well. I would agree. Yeah, midfield definitely pressing on there. Been trying to find someone to clear it out to, but that's Ava Beninati right there. Puts it right in front. Puts it, looking to find number eight, Lily Thompson. Oh, that was number eight, that was number 18. Sorry about that, that was Waverly Sumner. She was trying to find her, but unlucky. Yeah, the Beninati family has some great soccer players. Yeah, absolutely. Joe, yeah. George, and then Ava. Yeah. Bunch of stars. Yeah, it's true. There's a lot of families that have been passed soccer to soccer. You also have the Mastrobono family, Kate Mastrobono, the captain. Very her true. Her brother, Michael Mastrobono, was a great soccer player back in four years ago? Man, that's Something like that. I yeah, know. Yeah, four years ago. That's crazy. Jeez. Yeah, his senior four years ago. That's Olivia Smith right now passing it on the outside. Intercepted by Medfield going the other way. Looking across. Uh, two nice two defensive yeah. play there from Master Bono. Good stuff. Nice play on the sidelines. Dover Sherman ball. Definitely a fast paced game. That's what I like to see. It makes the game fun, makes the game entertaining. That's always good. Brings the energy, brings the heat. Absolutely. Annie Perry. Oh, that's Lily Thompson trying to find Annie on that. That was a foul on Medfield. Could have been a push off right there. I think that's, they're doing a little tap and then a, yep, varsity boys were doing the same strategy last time, where they doing a little tap and then the boot. So that was Ava tapping it to Kate, but that ball sails right out of bounds. Looking for Annie Paris though, but I'm lucky there. Mm -hmm. She's definitely a player to watch. Absolutely, she, she could get from one side of the field to the other within just a couple of seconds. Super athletic. Absolutely. Yeah, Medfield taking the kick in right now. Ooh, good stop right there by number eight, Lily Thompson. Ooh, nice little opportunity here, but broken up from midfield. Another player you guys should keep your eyes on is number four, Hope Shoe. Oh, Definitely yeah. came into our own, especially in the playoffs last year, doing some incredible stuff for the Dover Sherman Lady Raiders, and watch out for her today. Her and Annie make a dynamic duo over in the offensive Yeah, field. Hope Shoe is absolute speedster. Yeah, we'll talk, talk about families playing soccer. I know. <laughs> Throw, throwing the Shoe family right there. You got Jeff Shoe, you got Madeline. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, soccer's in the family genes. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. That's, That's what very you get. true. It's a family sport. Uh, it's, I see that was Hope that was playing against the midfield defender, but that's going to be a corner kick, right? 
think mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he's signaling towards the corner. That's awesome. Did you play soccer? Yeah, I played soccer for eight years. Still oh. a referee, so I know a little bit my fair share about the rules. So That's you know, good. know how the f I know the, the it's good that I know the players' version of it and I know the referees' version of it. So yeah, so I definitely went from player to referee to commentator. Yes. So you know, nice. still a referee. Got a referee game later today. If you guys want to come over and join. <laughs> oh, where is that? Over in Fessenden, right in Sherbourne. It'll be eighth grade boys, Natick versus oh. Dover Sherbourne. So you guys come on over. I'll be the center ref. It should be fun. Mm -hmm. Cheering for the ref that game. <laughs> <laughs> what team are you cheering for? The referee. <laughs> that's <how I> mean. <laughs> Center ref. So that's Medfield taking the ball right now, trying to see what they can do with it. Not too great of an opportunity there. No. See if I can get a better angle. Ooh, Ooh. Trips up on the ball. I feel like the turf might be a little bit slippery. Yes. Who are the referees calling that out on? Ava Kaplan. Oh, really? I don't know. I, I, I saw it. It was it out was? on her. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't looking directly. I was looking more below toes on the side. Oh, good pass. Nice, Ooh. nice. Abby DeSalvo. Oh, no, that's not Abby. Abby's playing number 10. That was... Oh, juicy oh, no. rebound. Oh, no. no. Oh, gosh. That was so unlucky. That was that was just a, t a goal that you can't defend. Once once the goalie gets down, defender's right there. All you got to do is tap it. You're right. I'm pretty sure that was the forward <laughs> number three, Shannon Burns, with the goal there, and yeah. just that was unlucky. Hey, Dover Sherman still got all the momentum. They were pushing. This was just an unlucky opportunity. Still the mm -hmm. better team. Juicy rebound. Absolutely. Capitalized on it. Absolutely. So right now, Medfield Warriors up 1-0 in this rivalry week. Dover Sherbourne vs. Medfield, long history of rivalry for all sports, really. Soccer, football, you name it. And parties. <laughs> <laughs> Not in COVID times, though. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Those days are over. Absolutely. Yeah, so right now, Medfield still has possession. Definitely really fair game in terms of pressing. I think that both teams really excel in terms of their offensive scheme because defensively, maybe good too, but... Both teams have really good offensive players. Two captains from Dover Sherbert and the clear offensive playing by um, Medfield that's been just being yeah. absolutely spectacular. But don't don't uh, sleep on Master Bono on defense. Oh, absolutely. I'm not saying anything, but usually sure it's a, a three-person defensive team. That's very true. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier when there's three people playing defense, so you can true. get a center. Because center defense is good, but once that ball gets past you, it's you and the goalie. Uh-huh. Oh, man, another good placement there on the kick-in. Not on the kick-in, that was an uh, indirect free kick. It's a good kick-in, but unlucky there. Yeah, couldn't quite bend it like Beckham, but very <laughs> close. Uh, almost almost <laughs> hit it like Lionel Messi. <laughs> exactly. Get in there, get in there. Bend it. <laughs> uh, Brad here with the soccer terminology. Yeah, Football, so as we call it, over the sea, over played, the pond. Played my fair share of FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a good oh, chance. What a, what a out. Yeah. Oh, pushes off. Let's oh, see if she can shoot it. it. This is it. Let's go! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, that was oh. just a little bit to the left. Great opportunity, though. Uh -huh. She sets herself up in those types of opportunities that just make it so much easier to being able to attack the ball. It was a oh, 2v1, too. So quick. I'm telling you. It, her and Hope just take can take over a game within just a matter of seconds. Seriously, and they could last year as well. Yeah, absolutely. Which is scary. Well, so. last year they also had Karis, Bomber, they had Sabrina Doyle, and they also had Caroline Gallagher helping they, them out. Yeah, they had some good weapons. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Every year, the, this, this team is always well coached, well played, well everything. So it's a well oiled machine, as we like to yeah, call absolutely it. Absolutely right. Unbeatable until somebody can actually go and do it. It all comes down with the management. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, absolutely. Everyone <laughs> took over coaching <laughs> duties, I think, three or four years ago, and it's just been a different team. Yep. Uh -huh. All right, good kick out. I don't know why Medfield's celebrating it. It's just a clear. Is it going to be a kick uh, in for Dover Sherbert? Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> clear the ball. <laughs> Not a goal, but yeah. always I like the team spirit. Team spirit makes the game more fun to watch. Yeah. More fun, more easy. Agree. De definitely something to look forward to. Absolutely agree. So I also actually played soccer. I played youth, really? and I wish I actually played high school because I hated football. You played football? Yeah, I did. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I can see you as a, recru a D1 recruited football player right now. Yeah, no, except I was injury prone. So. Oh, there you go. That's, that's another thing. <laughs> you, you learn from your mistakes. Exactly. That was a missed opportunity, a shot right there by Dover Shot. I didn't see who shot the ball, but that's going to be Medfield's ball. Yeah, I remember the good old days when parents used to bring cut up orange slices. Oh, no, man. Game. Don't, you, don't you make me nostalgic, <laughs> Brad. Don't you do that to me. Why don't they do that anymore? Uh, because high school is like, I don't know, no, high school. Because no, because the parents aren't the coaches, the people, parents are just spectators. So people just stopped liking oranges? Too, I don't know. Like too old. Oranges would always give me the, the fake boost of calcium <laughs> oh, that you needed man. to play. I love it. Yeah, Olivia Smith. 
Definitely came into our own last year as a defender. Been playing really well, but inconsistent at times, but definitely been playing really well. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wind's picking up really strong right now. Story of my life, inconsistent at times. You know? <laughs> hey, Brad, this is not, this, you're not playing <laughs> soccer right now. We got to commentate a game. <laughs> hey, I'm just defending her. Fair enough. That's, defending her. that's a midfield player. Ooh, number 12 gets the ball right back. Puts it oh, right wow. in the, what a pass, wow. I, th I think she didn't know what to do with it. No, I, don't, I didn't think she, she thought that that could come to her. No, that was unbelievable. Yeah, I did, that was a professional <laughs> pass right there. Like, Seriously, that was bent. I, don't know, I think that would, might have been even like a world world team for the U.S. women's team type of pass. Uh, like yeah. Megan Rapino might be taking those type of shots. Legit. Yeah. All right, that's back to midfield. They're trying to play it safe. A couple passes on the side. Oh, Hope intercepted. True. Back to Annie. Wow, let's see. Let's outrace. Go. It's a foot race. It's a foot she's race. So fast. It's a foot race. Here let's we see go. it. Let's see it. Let's. Oh. Foul! Man, Foul! Even, Unbelievable! I didn't even hear the whistle. Unbelievable! Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I thought it was. I thought it was on uh, Dover Sherburn. I thought they called that on Dover Sherburn. That was going to lose. Yeah. It no, that was a smart play. They had to do that because they needed to get back on defense. And he's like, "What?" Yeah. But she still had it. Like, oh, Kate with the boot. Nope. Too far to the right. No, but normally when that if that was on Annie, I'd probably I'd probably be on the field right now arguing I'm, the call. I'm about to. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll I, hold my mic. Yeah, it was it was a good play by the ref oh. by Medfield though. They need to get back on defense, so it was just something they had to do. Ooh, that could have been out. I don't know if they was in or out. I think it's yellow line. So. Yeah, master ball. Yeah, that's that, that's Medfield ball. It's a fun pace game. Quick, yeah, it fun. is. I think the goal was scored within like two three minutes into the game, right? It's crazy. Oh, the referee's upset. I'm free is upset. David Beninati puts it right in front of her. Oh, oh and he slips up. Plane, but See, I don't know. It's, it was the same thing during the JV game. Something's with the field. Maybe a little I slippery. Uh, people have been falling here and there. You, you know what I'm talking about. I people do. Have been I've been seeing a lot of it. I don't know. Hopefully that maybe just rained overnight. But the weather's good. Tomorrow, yeah. two boys games. Three boys games tomorrow. Boys soccer games. And it's going to be definitely chillier. Like 20 degrees colder, so. So bring a bring a sweatshirt. Yeah. Well, hope more people can show up to the game. Yeah, I know. Right? Well, if you're a parent of the player, of course. Uh huh. All right, let's back up to Annie. See if she can capitalize on that. Definitely trying to keep her. Well defended. Ke there. Keeping her six foot distance right there uh, with the arm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Following the virus really closely. I think that's gonna be the salvo. Kicking that in. I can't. From here, I just can't see the numbers. I think it's Hope Shoe. Oh, no, Hope Shoe's number oh, four. Yeah, you're right. I, it, from here, Hope you just can't see the numbers, honestly. It's just like a giant, like, maybe the camera can zoom in on it better, but from the announcers, we're over here in the bleachers. Super tough to see the other side of the field. Yeah, the lettering should be white with a black outline, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe. yeah it's, it's like blue with black. white. No, is that blue? With, oh, it's blue and black. Wow, yeah, you can't see that at all. No. Maybe, like, the clo close to us, yeah, but on the other side, I like. I could only go by maybe the back of the hair. That's all I can. Maybe like that. I yeah. don't know. I'm not. You know what? I'm just gonna say Dover like, Sherman has the ball. Like I recognize that ponytail, and that is. I don't know. I don't recognize Ooh, the ponytail. That's a good shot opportunity by Kate. Trying Kate. to find. Some, trying to find something there. Yep. Oh, puts it right in the middle, but defender right there. Uh oh! Strange bounce. Uh oh! Uh oh! This is not looking good. Not looking good. Two v two. Yeah. 2v2, Ava Kaplan and Ava Beninati right now with Olivia Smith trying to come back in the middle. Ooh, good oh. look, but ooh, there's, that's a shot opportunity. Shot. Get oh, no! Oh, you my God, me? that was so unlucky. No. Oh, I my think, God. I think that was Marissa Garag. What a 17. heartbreaker. Cody Mahom uh, Mahoney thought for sure that was going to go on the outside. Uh, that's a heartbreaker. Man, I, I know. now they're in an uh, 0-2 hole. Hey, plenty of time to go. Full game ahead of us, and I don't know. Could really go either way. You're right. Never know. You're right. Never know, but. It's too soon to tell. I don't know. Medfields, they've been putting the they've been putting their foot down. That's for mm -hmm. sure. 2-0 Medway Warriors continuing with the game. Dover Sherman has a little bit more fire. A little bit more pressure on them than the 1-0 lead that they had earlier. Annie Perez, though. There she goes. Turns Let's on the go. Jets. Turns on the Jets. Nice pass up. Uh, I think that is. Olivia Smith trying to grab that, pass it back. Oh, that's not Olivia Smith, my bad. That is, yeah, that was Olivia Smith. 
Oh, well, this was just playing defense, and now she's over <laughs> on offense. Now she's all over. Yeah, the field. I was confused. I'm like, wasn't she just back over playing defense? <laughs> Completely confused. She's all over Nora Ciro. Absolutely. Field. <laughs> Right, the boot. Ooh, right over the heads of Lily Thompson and Ava Kaplan. But Bono going to sky this one out. Plays right out, and it's going to beat over Sherburn Ball. Ava Kaplan to kick it in, most likely. Because I, I mean, she just stay with the ball. Yep, I think you're right about it's that. It's easier when they're on this side of the field. You can see the names, you can see the numbers, you can see the action. So it's so strange, the new rule with the throw-ins. It's a low I, kick in. They're doing the right stuff, though. Because of the coronavirus, they're making sure that if anybody touches the ball with their hands, they have to desanitize it. Yeah. No, like, pretty much any blatant foul would be called. Oh, oh that was close. So That's close. Tough. That's a good shot, though. Great shot up right on the side. Goalie wasn't going to get that, just a little bit to the right. But as I was saying, the penalties are definitely going to be called a little bit more looser this game and any game for the future yeah. of the season because of the virus restrictions as well as the kick-ins, like you said earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so. then also the kick-ins have to be lower than the knee, I believe. Yeah. Ooh. Which is pretty wild. Andy Perez tries to put a little bit of a juice on that. Yep, she's got a boot. She does. She has a, that was a good dart, but need a little bit of a spin, a mm -hmm. little bit of a curve. It's tough to bend him. Can you? Eh, if it was a wide open shot, we might be talking. I don't know if I can do it. I don't think I could be on the field doing this right now, I'm Brad. I'm gonna be honest with you. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. I've, re I've retired Mika. from my playing days. I'm gonna be. I'm going straight to the commentating <laughs> and the refereeing days. <laughs> Those were the days ahead of me. The playing oh days are behind gosh. me. Oh, you're still so young. Ah, does it? Hey, but the referees, <laughs> you need more younger referees. All the referees. So here's the thing. Everybody loves the soccer players and every sports players, but nobody, like, loves the referees. No. I want to bring a new wave of love to the referees. Make people appreciate and make the referees fun. Yeah, good luck with that, man. Hey, I got my work <laughs> cut out for me. I know I do. I think it's impossible. No, I don't, I, nothing's impossible for me. Let's see what yeah, happens. Make, oh, that's out on Medfield. That's going to be Dover Sherman To make ball. people like refs. Seems impossible. Might seem we'll impossible. But hey, you might be able to pull it off. Yeah, we never know. Maybe make more, more fun of a game. I try not to give out cards. I'm the type of ref that, uh, I mean, until it's something really, really bad. Yes, exactly. But Oh, Perez. There she goes. Okay. There she goes. Oh, number 17 from Medfield She's catching up. Cool. Oh, oh, what a, what a oh. cross to Olivia. Ah, too far ahead. Too much to the left, too far ahead. Mm-hmm. It's a little too much. Yeah, but everyone knows that when Annie Perizzo gets the ball, she's off to the races. So you, the Medfield is right now planning accordingly and maybe even trapping her, double teaming her, making sure that nothing gets behind her. Yeah, and as her. we just saw, watch out for number 17 on uh, Medfield because yeah. she's very fast absolutely, too. And that's absolutely. Marissa Garag. Nice. Didn't she score already a goal today? Um, yeah, she yeah, did. She scored the first goal of the game. Or second. Second. Second goal again. Yeah. So, yeah, you're completely right. Uh -huh. like, oh. The second goal was, uh, yeah, I mean, I was unlucky. questionable. And no, because it wasn't questionable. Courtney, Courtney Mahoney did not think that was going to bounce off of the iron of the net and then bounce in. I didn't think it was going to happen. That ball was going straight to the side. And and so just, that means it was questionable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can call it questionable, but at the same time, to a goal, the goalie, yeah, it goal is a goal. A goal is a goal. It looked like it was not going to. You can say it was questionable, but a goal is a goal. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I think that's Olivia Smith trying to find something out of nothing. Oh, There's oh, push off. There you go. Back. There you go. See, those those are the type of elbows and all that type of stuff. They're going to call it every single time on these plays. Yeah. It's not, I mean, normally they would do it maybe a little bit less, but now they almost would do it any time that they see it, just for the simple fact of the virus and the maintaining distance and everything. Exactly. It's really important for them to do this. Yeah, we hope that uh, we can continue playing soccer Absolutely. through this virus. Well, I think this is week two of the season, and hopefully, I think that they don't have playoffs in the, in the, at the end of the season, but they will have a three more weeks left of play, which is fun. Always, it's, it's good for people to be able to, with a super short season too, this is like, I don't know, like the third or fourth week of them even practicing. I'm pretty sure too, they like didn't get any time to practice. So it's really impressive what this whole team has been able to muster, but this team is really, it's a returning team from last year, which is really good for this, a team like this. So they have a lot of yeah. their veterans back. They know who their leaders are. It's good to see. Yes. Uh, that's a lot. It's playing for the ball right there. It's going to be a corner kick. Good call by the referees. That was off of Medfield's foot. Yeah, nice hustle from Shu right Absolutely. there to just. That's, that's what you, she's might, not as fast as Perizzo, but she comes in when it matters. All right. We got three subs coming in. We got number three, Natasha Seal. 13 and three. And then number six as well. Number six is Mar Mariel Gagnon. And number 13 is Caroline Gray. And number three, Natasha Cole. Oh, coming in Kill. for Olivia Smith, Hope Shoe. Oh, Hope Shoe and Lily Thompson. 
Yeah, another thing about, we are talking about families, the Seal family, uh, this is freshman Natasha Seal, her brother, Rusty Seal, is the captain of the uh, boys' varsity team, and her dad is a renowned coach here in Dover Sherburn. Wow. So, yeah. No, definitely know the family really well. That's good. Yeah. All right, they might be doing a little bit of a tap here, the tap and go. Seeing, oh. Uh, see, I don't understand that. I don't know why they just don't try to cross it in the middle of the field. Uh -huh. I think that's just more effective because the tap and go, by by an occasional point, the defense is going to expect it, and they're just going to blitz you out, and you get nothing out of it. A, really, a great situation. At we're under two minutes in the first quarter. Medfield is up 2-0. Still too early to determine anything. It's fast-paced game, fun game, but still too early to see anything. Mm -hmm. uh, if a Kaplan, I think, is going to kick it a little bit and then give it to Kate. Kate with the bow. Oh, oh. Way too. So Kate has a like a very, very strong foot. So if it was maybe like at the 30, that could have been a better opportunity. At the 10, maybe Kate is more of somebody that you're gonna wanna cross to, because that's either gonna <laughs> hit the goalie straight in the face and it's not gonna <laughs> feel great, or it's gonna sky over the goal post. You know, so. if it hits him in the face, it's gonna make for a juicy rebound in front. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not for the goalie. <laughs> the juice might be blood, but you know. Right. Well, let's not talk about that, because we want, a, we want a clean game. We want a fun and a clean hey. game. <laughs> yes, we do. All right, that's the end of the first quarter. Med Medfield Warriors up 2-0 to Incredible goals, one of them really nice, one of them unlucky, questionable a little bit, but Dover Sherburn definitely has the momentum and the energy on their side, and we'll be back in a little bit to start over quarter number two. everybody and welcome back to the Dover Sherburn Lady Raiders versus the Medfield Lady Warriors over here on Norris Earl Field. Start of the second quarter we have Dover Sherburn down two to zero after two goals by Medfield. One bounced right off of the little bit on the bottom of the net and then in and then the other goal was a pretty good goal by Medfield but still very fast paced goal, very fast paced game and it could go either way. What do you think Brad? You know what, I think so too. You know, that first goal, it was just a, a tough rebound. Um, the goaltender, just, I, I think I think she's gonna play better this I think so too. Courtney still, it's just her first season as the starting goalie for Dover Sherburn. This is uh -huh. her second week, pretty Whoa. much, as, as playing. So she's still got a lot to grow, a lot to get better, but team's really built. The team's built for the future. Only just like five, six seniors, set maybe seven seniors, but Young team. Exactly. And then say this game could easily be, have been tied with uh, Annie Perezow's Absolutely. shot that just missed the net. Absolutely. And then Kate Master Bonos that just missed the top right. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And those were going to be two pretty tough goals, but they were good. They were good shots. So any given Sunday on a Saturday. Absolutely. All right. Medfield is starting off the ball this quarter, seeing what they can pull in. See if they have anything left inside the tank to... Come, maybe a couple more goals for them. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. We're rooting for the Raiders. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's out on Medfield. That's Dover Sherbin's ball. They take over. We try to stay neutral, but you can hear the excitement. When, uh, That's true. Hey, when I mean, you come to Dover Sherbin, you got to expect a little you bit of a home it. team. You we do, we do try to stay neutral, but uh -huh. this is Dover Sherbin at the end of the day. Nora Cyril uh, Field is uh, a special place. Exactly. I think that's going to be Medfield kicking, as far as I can see. Yep. Brad, you, you seem like a huge soccer fanatic. Oh, I am such a fanatic, man. How could you tell? I uh, know. You just seem super excited about the game. Oh, but you know, I, I am. I just love I love sports so much. Absolutely. I feel you. Uh -huh. Yeah, when you see Kate Masturbona playing defense, it's just a giant in the crowd of, of soccer players. She just gets out of her way and she Seriously. makes everybody else pay the price. Her on the basketball court, too. Oh, Multi-sport athlete. Yeah, seriously. Reminds me a lot of John Muckstadt. You're right. Two years ago. Uh -huh. Soccer, basketball. Well, that was for boys, but. Extraordinaire. No, <laughs> not, not just that. Uh -huh. Over in Colgate right now. Wow. Probably getting good grades, too. Hopefully. Dover Sherman does carry a good reputation of good grades. Right. Ooh, good cross in the great. Oh, ah. no. Hey, there. it's all right. Annie controls it. Plays it up to. 
Mm. I don't know who that, who that was. I think that she played that up too. Oh, here we go. Great. Oh, oh, too short. It's a good turnaround by Annie. I know. Honestly, the ball was behind her, and she was able to turn around and put it in. It, it was a tough shot. It might not look yeah. as tough as it was, but it really was a tough shot. Mm -hmm. It's good play back to her by Mariel Gray, though. Good, not Mariel Gray. Mariel Gaganyan. The boot. Oh, Kate right there. All right. <laughs> you're always just you're, powering. Kate's just going to be there. Uh -huh. Always, all the, always the reliant Kate. I think that was Ava Beninati mm. clears it right to the outside. But again, you cannot see those players. I'm just going to assume that's Ava Beninati. She's just, it's all the way on the other side of the field. You can't You're see right. it. You can't see it. All right. Yeah. And like I said earlier, not in this game, but the masks on the players just make it so much harder to keep up that, like, wind gust and the energy because you're running so much more than you. It feels like you're running more because you just don't get as much air as you normally would because, I mean, you're just breathing. Your mask. <laughs> your mask, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not as fun. It's not, yeah. yeah. Like, it's kind of hard to imagine Annie doing this much effort with just this little. Nice oh, there's Abby DeSalvo. Right there. Ooh, puts it up to Annie. All right. Let's see, let's see what this can go. do. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Just, uh, Could have held it up a little bit more. She did have. She had a couple yeah. steps ahead of her. She did. Yeah, she did. Uh, she, hopefully, she finds her shot um, next. Next. She's time. had a lot of good opportunities. Like she really yeah. has. So well, but, she could easily have had a hat trick. So it's, it's only. By, there will be some time where she finds her stroke. She will. There's no way you could shut down Annie Perizzo for a full game. No. No. That's not gonna happen. She'll. She'll start to heat up. Absolutely. That Dover Sherman ball. If and from what I'm seeing, too, is, is this is a very close game. It is. You wouldn't think of it because of the score. Yeah. But it really is. It really is. Dover Sherman take. Oh, sub's coming in. <laughs> yeah. I was confused. They're starting to play the ball, and I'm like, are they, what are they doing? Hope Shoe coming in yeah. for. Mariel Gaganyan. Yes. And Thanks. that is Ava Beninati coming out for the game for, I think that was number 16. Nope. There is no number 16 on the team. No, that was uh, Waverly Sumner, number 18. Oh no no number number eighteen still on the bench. No, I did not know. I did not see that number. That just came play defense for Ava Beninati. I didn't either. Yeah. Is someone on the field? <laughs> we will let you know once we figure it out. We will let you know. Huh. That is a Mika and Brad guarantee. We will let you know who came in for the field. And it will uh, be well, Mika. And that was Kate. What? Of course, oh. she boots it right to the middle of the field. Oh, Elo Zulovic also has come into her own, the sophomore Elo Zulovic. Been playing really well soccer. She's been playing more like a senior, uh, less than a sophomore. It's yeah. been really good. I agree. It's always good when you You know what? The... Brad, I figured out who that was. That was number two, Tessa Broderick. Nice. I knew you would figure it out. There you go. Kate just skies it, just like <laughs> everyone looks up and there's the uh, ball. <laughs> Where'd the ball go? It's flying. <laughs> oh, and he just plays it well, puts it right in front with yeah. the midfield goalie, collects it. See what she's going to do. The pass. Good job, man. It's a good pass. Yeah, it was. There we go. Nice. Uh, oh, nice give and go. Yeah. That was great give and go right there. I think that's Hope Shoe. Yeah, oh, no, that's so Caroline too. Gray. Oh, they look similar from that far away. I know, I can't, I can't <laughs> see the numbers, I agree. Yeah, that was Caroline Gray. Hope she was on the yeah, side of the field. Yeah. Yep. It's Caroline. A nice boot by Medfield. Puts it right in front. Yeah, I like when the ball stays inside the line, it makes it so much easier for the offensive. But it's just so hard to keep that ball inside the line after a boot. Seriously is. And that's real, that's called real skill. Like that ball was just right now rolling right down the line and now they're calling it off of DS. Kate Masterbrown doesn't like the call at all. No no punches thrown. Yeah, nothing, nothing. No, we don't no. we don't want any of that in the game, but oh, uh, uh, oh substitution for Medfield number thirteen coming in. She has a goal already today. Coming in for uh, another Medfield player. Refs uh, refs can definitely get some of that heat, you know. Hey, hey, don't don't you be <laughs> mean about my referees. <laughs> Hey, Brad, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. We're trying to sit, sit, create a good environment for the referees. Five time. Oh, Annie Perizzo coming on the bench, taking a little bit of a breather. Well deserved. Yeah, good playing by Annie Perizzo today. Good stuff. Good shot on goal. Courtney Mahoney right there, picks it up, gets ready to turn around and go further. All right, now let's see. Annie's out of the game, so I expect Hope Shoe to step up right now. Yes. Oh, ooh, that was a handball. I don't know. I saw her reach out a little bit of the midfield player. Nice collection by Courtney Mahoney. 
doing a great job playing goaltender. Uh, Abby DeSalvo, the defenseman. A lot of these girls have been playing on this team since freshman year, so they really they really know this team really well. Yeah, they do. Nice pass there, yeah, weaving it in. Back to Ella Zulovic, and there's, there's Hope Shoe. Oh, oh home, ankles, nice ankles. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> ankles have been broken here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We might need to we might need to call it a medicine. We might need to call yeah. it an ambulance. Got a new pair of ankles right there. That was really bad. Really bad. And the coach is going to be doing some shooting drills next practice. <laughs> Shoot, how about running drills? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, Metfield's taking the ball. Boots it. Too many missed nets going on right now. Yeah, absolutely. The net's big enough. Oh, too much to the side for Medfield. That wasn't good. Yeah, Abby Salvo's going to take it out again, see what she can do with this. Now, always dangerous. The most dangerous part in the soccer field is when the defense puts it right in the middle in front of them. It's the most dangerous place for the offense to take the ball over and create some type of shot. Yeah. Rather, because when, when it's on the sides, the defense really has to do something crazy. Mm -hmm. but I think that's out of bounds. I think that's going to be a corner kick. It's unlucky there by Dover Sherman. Yes. Can't quite see who that was that did that, but they did it. Absolutely. All right. Quick pass and boot. Master Bono there to clean it yeah, up. You're going to expect Master Bono to get there. Yeah. Ooh, too short. Too much to the left. Good shot opportunity there by Medfield, but. Uh huh. No, Medfield's definitely playing. We've been talking a lot of trash about Medfield, but Medfield's been playing a great game so far. Yeah. There, there's, there's a reason they're up 2 0. They were able to control maybe not as much the Dover Sherbin offense, but they really were able to figure out Dover Sherbin's defense, I'd say. And the Medfield, too. Yes. Yeah, the offensive. Core number 17, and there's another number from Medfield that's been playing really exceptionally well. Uh, there's Ella Zulovic looking for the ball. A little push oh, off. Push off. Well, see, I got a game next. I don't know if I'm going to be calling all of those fouls. I know, right? I might be more, I've been reffing for a, quite a while now, so I might be more a little bit old fashioned where. A little more lenient. Yeah. Let them play. Exactly. I like the game to play out a little bit more. I don't like the fouls as much. I agree. Sometimes you got to put away the whistle. Get me a Neymar on the team, and I'm going to be calling every three <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah. And that's Lily Thompson right there trying to figure some. Oh, no, that's any pairs? No, that's oh, Lily Thompson. Gosh. I was thinking, like. Or is it, yeah, Annie's just coming in. Get confused, because Lily's an eight, and then Annie's nine. So, like, yeah. just put that little line at the end of there, and then it just becomes an eight. Yeah, Annie's looking to sub in really shortly. So, Dover Shepard needs that boost of energy. Give Annie a little bit of a breather, and then puts it right in. Offsides. Good stuff by Dover Shepard. Coming up on around 10 minutes left in the second quarter. Medfield still up to zip. A little segue. If you guys like the amount of energy that I have, me and Brad here, I have a show over on DSC TV called Unpopular Opinion, where we talk a lot about sports. And we have a lot of special guests. This week, hopefully, we have Headmaster Smith on the show. Do a lot of fun stuff. Talk a little bit about basketball, college football, NFL, a little bit of everything. couple games. Should be fun. Hope you guys can... Tune in. It's on the YouTube and it's on the Dover Sherbin Cable Television. Fun sports show. Absolutely. Brad was a special guest. You enjoyed it, Brad, was, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. Didn't do too well on Sports oh, Jeopardy. Ooh. Didn't do too well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably did the worst ever on the show. That's all right. Zero points is still a... Oh. You were still there. <laughs> Participation trophy. <laughs> hey, I was smiling the whole time. Yeah. Tough questions, though. I'm not giving any easy uh, no, ones to you guys. No. Oh, that's Hope Shoe coming into the game, number nine, and Natasha Seal. They're both coming in. I think they're taking out Olivia Smith and Lily Thompson. No, that's not Olivia. No, that is Olivia Smith. Yeah, that is Olivia Smith and Lily Thompson. Coach is happy from for their production. Absolutely. Abby DeSalvo has been in the game all day. Oh, She's this is a good opportunity here. Absolutely. Oh. oh. Yeah, Waverly Sumner. She can put something together here. You just need to make sure. Give her the right opportunity. She's going to be able to put something together. Absolutely. Yeah, Caroline Gray right back there. Oh, police showed up. Wants to watch a little bit of the game, too. And I got to go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Brad. I'm just kidding. Brad. I'm just kidding. 
Uh, that's Abby DeSalvo clears it up front. That's why I'm the color guy. Really? Yeah, I can see that. No, 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 I'm a play-by-play. -play. That's why I'm funny. here for. Yeah. I also have a show on the air too called the Earth News. Absolutely. What a fun. That's a fun show to tune right. in. It is fun. Oh, oh hope great shoot. opportunity. Uh oh. Uh oh. What oh. a move. Oh, oh, what a save. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, beautiful move by Hope. You can't you can't drop anything better than that, really. No, I love that move where she just stopped it. She broke the defender's ankles yeah, right absolutely. there. Absolutely. An open shot. Yeah, you guys should go tune into Earth News on Popular Opinion. Some good stuff producing yeah. on DSC TV. Exactly. Yeah. If you're interested in making your own show too, feel free to absolutely. let us know. Reach out. We always got a great production staff that wants to help out. You guys make the best possible show you can. Absolutely. Want your dreams to come true. <laughs> That's one way. That's a good way it's to like, put it. <laughs> it's like Disney over here. Yeah, it's the, it's the <laughs> shirt for Disney show. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> uh. All right, that, I think that was Annie Perez are trying to track that ball down. I feel like Annie's playing midfield more than anything else right now. Yeah, she is. Normally she would be playing offense, so maybe well, maybe she's more of a midfielder. Uh, number six is coming in. That is Marilyn Gaganian. She is subbing out Caroline Gray, number 13. Huh. Okay, comes the midfield kick in. Now, well, let's see what happens. Hopefully, something good. And that was good. Nice through goals. Ava wow, Kaplan. Wow, Ava really Kaplan. Really good. Ava Kaplan, definitely a senior Ava Kaplan. Definitely been doing really well. Oh, there, there oh, we wow. go. There's Waverly Sumner. She's off to the races. Doesn't have the speed necessarily that Hope Shoe and Annie, well, Annie Perizzo have. But she does have the ability. Yes, yeah, she, she does. She does have the ability. She's got the skill. Absolutely. The tenacity. Absolutely. Yeah, the referees also got their work cut out for them. A lot of... Being a referee isn't as easy. It's a lot of quick plays, a lot of quick decisions that have to be made. And it not is. a lot of them are going to be liked by the either team. Mm, nope, that's why so, I think it's hard to. It's, tough, it's a tough job, I'm telling you. It's like the president. It's tough. Uh, I don't know if it's that tough. <laughs> <laughs> but it's tough. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, look at that speed. Oh, that might be. Oh. oh! That was just, no, she fell down. She didn't push her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this like, is, this, oh is, this is not WWE right here. We got a little bit of boxing going on. Jeez, into the. <laughs> this into game just turned out to, to a full out brawl. Uh, and, know, right? and, and we're <laughs> said, announcing uh, it. Police came right at the right time to break up the fight. <laughs> like, oh, and shoe throws her shoe. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I think that's out of bounds. So, yep, out of bounds, kick this in. Nice Stop right kick. There. That's a good kick to Waverly Sumner right there. Puts it right in a good spot. Hope she, oh. Hey, all right, hey, it's over here from Ball. Yes. Hey, I'm going to be happy with those calls. I'm going uh -huh. to like those calls for us the game. I'm going to be looking for them. Any of those calls, I'm always going to be happy about. Never, never, take any, never, never take a call for granted. That's what I learned. That's true. Never take a call for granted. Very true. Don't take anything for granted. There you go. Life advice for Mika and Brad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tune in next week for episode two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think that's going to be, I don't know, I think Ella's going to tap it and then probably Kate's going to boot it unless they want something with Abby, but I doubt it because Kate's lining up with her right foot. Yep, it's Kate. Oh, the oh, big boot, quick. quick. Ah. Oh. Ah, Waverly tries to grab something there, but nothing there. It's a great boot. It hits the player right in the chest, but... It's tough. When a ball hits you in the chest, it's really hard to create a shot there. It really is. Oh, look oh, at this. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, hey, that's a two on three. Uh, th three on four. Three on four, yeah, with a defender nice. that was tracking back. And that's what you need. Sometimes when you're in that type of opportunity, you need the midfielders to get back, and the best way to do that is just to clear the ball on the sides. That's all you need. Agreed. Get just clear and then get be that happy. thing off. Absolutely. That's what you're looking for. Oh, nice defensive play there to stop the pass. Oh, but it, Ooh, yeah. good boot there. Master Bona. Oh, there goes Elo Zulovic. Back to Abby DeSalvo. I like them using the field like that. Absolutely. Hey, that's a, you're not going to be able to get an Everett coach team that doesn't know how to use the field. The yeah, full field, too. Right, and this is a great opportunity. Oh, right oh look at Speedy number five for Medfield. Needed a teammate. I think they hope she was there pretty much by herself. Yeah. She was, standing, she was standing by herself looking for an opportunity. Who was that at Brad on Medfield? Uh, Sarah Churchill. Oh, Churchill. 
great defense. <laughs> just put on the wheels. A little bit of commentary for both teams, not just DS. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to keep it neutral. Exactly. We give credit when credit's due. Absolutely. That's the type of people we are. Mm-hmm. Ball is tracked down by Tessa Broderick. Yeah, Tessa Broderick's a freshman this year. I, I mean, I haven't heard of her, and she's doing really, really well, honestly. Wow. Brod I mean, I'm telling you, a lot of these girls have been playing here since freshman year. A lot of these sophomores have been here last year, and a lot of these juniors are back here from last year. So it's a, it's a really balanced team, but especially the, these new freshman groups, this is a really, really special team of freshman girls for the soccer team. Definitely a great future ahead for Dover Sherburn Lady Raiders soccer. Yeah, bright future ahead. Especially when you get mentored by the captains that you have this year and the coaches that you have this year. Yeah, absolutely right. It's great stuff to see. Great work work ethic to oh, hope follow. He, hope Shoe looking for She's something. She's so good. She's looking. Ah. Oh. So you're given, I feel like Courtney Mahoney, the goalie in DS, just working so much harder than the other goalie. Really. Oh, I know. The, goal's, the ball's gone straight into her hands. She, she hasn't even so, had to move. She just looks where the ball's coming from, and the goal, ball goes straight into her hands. And Courtney has to do yeah. a little bit more. Unfortunately, DS is either missing the net or shooting it right at the goalie. So let's change that. Well, how do you want to change it? <laughs> Shoot it into the goal without getting the goal. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I think that's number, that's, uh, number six getting involved. That is Mel Gaganian. So subs coming back in. We got Olivia Smith and Lily Thompson taking out Elo Zulovic and Ava Kaplan. Yeah, Elo Zulovic, I think, is one of the more underrated players on this team. O only a sophomore, but she's definitely been contributing a lot to the team in terms of her play and just her overall style. Yeah, she seems like she has endless energy. Absolutely, out there. he's definitely taking the energy away from Hope uh, from Ava Annie Paris, though. That's true. <laughs> That's good. Sometimes Annie needs to share that energy. Exactly. <laughs> Save some energy for the rest of us. <laughs> under two minutes left. I don't know how much uh. left under two minutes, but almost approaching halftime. Pretty fair second quarter. First quarter might have been not as pretty. Second quarter was fun. A lot of back and forth. A lot of fun here. This is just a beautiful day for soccer. Yeah, I can't. I cannot agree more. Oh my gosh. You cannot agree more. Oh. Unlucky there. Yeah, nice positioning from the midfield defender there. Absolutely. She kind of pick her off. Here we go. Who else? Perizzo. I think that was Lily Thompson, actually. It was? Yeah, I think that. I'm telling you, the eight and the nines. You cannot you cannot confuse them. Oh, my God. No, I, I, the only reason I thought because they were yelling Lily, so I'm going to oh. assume that's Lily Thompson. But, yeah, it's, it's tough. No, Annie Perizzo standing right there over in the middle of the field. Oh, she's got the, uh, the bright... Yellow cleats. Hey, see, we're gonna go identify people uh, by their cleats. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, any pairs of standing out there with the bright yellow cleats. That's a good way to look at it. Man, this this team just has so much speed all around. Great uh, depth. It's, it's a really balanced team. It really is. Yeah, Coach Evan keeping us cool. Not too, not screaming just yet. <laughs> <laughs> no bad calls to so far to report here from the officiating crew up here in the booth. I thought that one on Perizzo was bad, but you're hey, the ref, so uh, you. Hey, I think that it, it's, maybe it's not bad, but it's just the, it's the type of atmosphere that we play in now. Yeah, uh, COVID. Well, that's that's halftime, everybody. Medfield two, Dover Sherburn zero. It's been a good first half, a lot of energy, a lot of fun, and we will be back after halftime, after a 10 minute halftime break. This is Mika Brad, we'll see you back here in 10 minutes. Thank you, everybody. We know that we're asking Americans to do a lot right now. So we're asking everyone to be selfless for others so that we can protect those who are most susceptible to this virus. A question I often get asked is why should young people care about the spread of coronavirus? Well, we know that people with underlying medical conditions over the age of 60 are at highest risk, but they've got to get it from somebody. Social distancing is really physical separation of people it's what we refer to when we ask people to say at least six feet apart. Not going to bars, not going to restaurants, not going to theaters where there are a lot of people. It all just means physical separation so that you have a space between you and others who might actually be infected or infect you. We all have a role to play in preventing person-to-person -person spread of this disease, which can be deadly for vulnerable groups. 
For more information on how you can social distance, please go to coronavirus.gov. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Nora Searle Field. We have the Lady Raiders playing some soccer and the Medfield Warriors. Raiders are trailing nil to two at the end of the first half. I am Mika Gat, joined by Brad Crandall, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about soccer, making it a little bit more fun. Absolutely. So two, two tough goals in the first quarter. Second quarter was pretty even, but Dover Sherburn started with the ball, and game's underway. Yes. DS has had a lot of chances this game. They just can't seem to uh, get it by the keeper. Absolutely. I mean, they, they, they haven't played really well, though. Like, defensively, maybe inconsistent, but in terms of offense, they've, they've really been able. I think they've gotten more shots on goals. They have. They've been owning, these, they've been I, owning the game. Yeah, if you, look, if you look statistically, they've had a lot more shots on goals than uh, Medfield, Medfield was just able to capitalize. Yeah. Maybe it's because of the inexperience of the goalie, but you never know. I th I mean, it could be, but I don't think it was really the goalie as much. The second goal, maybe. Go. Oh, here it's goes Hope Shoe right out of the gates. Right that's a tough shot. She's right in the corner. It's a tough. That's a tough. Oh, well, what a pass! Oh it's no! Red again! Oh, no, that no, you can't get a better oh, shot than my that. Oh my goodness! You can't get a better shot than that. That was oh. a beauty. Mika, that's that's like. Another misnet shot. Uh, it's well, not even it's that. like five. I, no, because I thought when Hope had the ball just now, I thought that was going to be over. Just a turnover. She found Annie wide open. It was literally yeah. her and the goalie. I like the idea. I like the idea of crossing in. But Annie could have went forward. She could have tried to get the goalie out of the box a little bit more. That that should have been a goal. I'm sorry. That that one should have been a goal. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. Hope Hope's doing stuff that nobody else can. You're right. It's tough to see. Tough to see. Mm-hmm. Dangling. Absolutely. What do they call that in soccer? Nutmegging? Well, I mean, that's if it goes through the legs, yeah, it's nutmeg. Yeah. Hopefully it's going to be a good half of soccer right here. I'm looking for a comeback. I don't want to, I don't want to be down 0 to 2 going towards the end, middle of the fourth. That's no fun. No. But see, this is exactly what we were talking about. DS has been basically owning the game. That's that's been happening Absolutely. all game. Absolutely. Yeah, it's the same thing now. They make it there. Yeah, there's Medfield kicking it up. Uh, I think. Nice positioning there. Great play. Great play from uh, Summer Waverly. Okay. And the speedy number 17 on midfield oh, breaks good. up the play. That's doing really good by Dora Sherbert. Medfield trying to do something here. The shot blocked. Ooh, a little bit of a push off of that, but. Uh, what'd you think? I, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, didn't see I'm it. just happy that Dover Sherman has the ball. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to no, call it as Medfield, but. That's true. I don't know. I wouldn't have called it as a referee, but look, I'm not playing for <laughs> these guys, so I can't tell what they are exactly. or aren't going to call. They call what they want to call. Uh -huh. Might have to go put on my referee uniform and take one of those guys, sub them out. <laughs> yeah. Like we said earlier, if you guys want to come check out my game, there's no there's no parents in after this 315 over in Fessenden Field. Uh, Always fun to check that out. You're going to be the only ref over there? I don't know if I'm the only ref, but I'll definitely be the loudest uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> Promise you that. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a good shot opportunity. Unlucky, though. Not able to capitalize. Okay, they're screaming from the both teams, to, from the coaches, trying to get the players a little bit more juiced up. Yes, they are. Yeah, so far a little bit of back and forth to start the third. But good game. Definitely fun. Definitely is. But, um, soccer's yeah. just such a, it's, it's such a balanced sport. Everybody loves it around the world. 
You're right. It's the most popular sport in the world, football. That's what they call it. Football. Foot football. 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 Oh, there goes Olivia Smith trying to find something. I mean, football is literally the perfect name for the sport. Yeah. I don't understand why they went from a ball, from a game where you have to throw the ball, and they call that football in America, in a game where you actually use yeah. your foot to kick the ball. In, they should have th called it like pigskin ball or handball or Any, tackle, yeah, tackle, ball. tackle ball. Tackle ball would have been such a great game. It was such a great game. <laughs> tackle ball. Or like, yeah, no I don't know, like foot, not football ball. They need, to, they need to come up with a better name for it. Yeah, like what is this actual shape of a football? Is that an actual shape? I'd say uh, oval with like points at the end. All right. I uh, see, I'm not, I'm not a great uh, shape guy. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not a great shape guy. <laughs> you know your sports. No, I know my no, sports, no, not my shapes. Shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A rhombus. <laughs> a rhombus. A rhombus. Just, a rhombus just, it just makes no sense. <laughs> All right, well, that was a good tangent that we went on. There you go. See the math, little little bit of math uh, over there, I'm too. I'm smiling over here. Yeah, well, you think I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's out of bounds. It's going back to Joe. Nope, Dover Sherman kicked that up. Yep, yeah, I, I held my breath. I went, no, <laughs> nope. <laughs> held my breath. Okay. I think that's going to be midfield ball again, yep. Oh, I'm gonna need tons of energy. I'm gonna need an energy boost after this. Oh man, I had a Red Bull and a coffee this morning. I'm still standing, you know. Well, for now. <laughs> <laughs> I know the crash is gonna be real. Okay, Medfield, you gotta think they're just trying to milk the clock right now. I mean, they have a lot of clock to milk. I know. You would be surprised. When they try to milk a clock, it would take a lot. Of Fourth quarter, I can see right now. If I'm the midfield coach, I say don't don't pull out an Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, you gotta no put a foot on the gas, pedal to the metal. Don't Press let anything em. happen. Press. Yeah, exactly. Don't let anything happen. Because they know Dover Sherman can do something. Uh huh. They just have to hit the net. Well, they will. You just gotta be more consistent. Exactly. Abby DeSalvo kicks that up. They had before, and they will again. Absolutely. Well, there's Annie Perizzo. Ah, gives it up to Lily to Hope. Nice, nice little play uh, right there. Look ooh. at Hope. See, that's the thing. That's that's the type of you stuff that Hope can stop do. Her. That's the type of stuff she can do. She she doesn't have speed, but she has the separation. Her acceleration ooh. is insane. Oh, what a oh. That's a that's a corner. Yep. Uh, but at the end of the day, her is exactly. You need someone like acceleration. It was a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Easily just gets in front of her and goes. And what her mass broke or something? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody uh, ripped the mask. See? Yeah. This is uh this is a new love, COVID I'll thing. I love for Tanya. People ripping masks. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love for the uh, assistant Tanya helping out with not just the health of the players but also the masks yeah, of the players. Exactly, which is also the health. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, oh, oh handball! Oh. Handball! How oh my is that? Hey, oh. Yes. I Go Oh man, I, I don't know. I think if that was not scored, I would be on the field right now I yelling know, at the refs. I know. That was she put her hand up and it hit the bottom of her uh, of her hand of her elbow. But hey, two to one. Hey, we're back we'll in it. Take it. We're back we'll in it. it. What a goal! I believe that what was. What a um, goal! We're back Wade in really it. Wait, really, Sumner? Yeah, great job by Sumner doing a great. Hey, she's making a great contribution to the team already. Hey, there it goes. Here we come. Lovia Smith pointing. Hey, you said they were going to hit the net, and they did. I told you. I, I'm, I'm the Tony Romo of the <laughs> soccer field. <laughs> Predictions before they I happen. No, that guy's incredible. Absolutely. What a goal. That was a beauty. Off of the corner kick. A little bit of... Oh, well, what did they do to the scoreboard? It's still, it says 0-2. Hey. They need to put that in there. Somebody got to tell them to put the scoreboard up one to uh -huh. two. Hope Shoe gives it back to Olivia. A little bit of a give and go stuff. Ooh, ooh, Olivia gets right by. All right, Hope's right now hope. taking right in the middle. And he's really looking. Oh. Ooh, no, but she gives it back to Lily. Plays conservative. Yeah. Spread ooh, Lily. Ah. Uh. That, why haven't they changed the scoreboard? It's still zero two. I, know. I don't get that. It also says that. <laughs> I don't get it. All right, whatever. <laughs> if anything, me and Brad will go talk to the, to yeah, the yeah. people after this. <laughs> We're calling the score here. <laughs> We should, be, we should be doing the score. We should be doing the scoreboard <laughs> and the commentating. Exactly. 
and the Instagram. Absolutely. Uh, a little, uh, yeah. a little pollution in the uh, headset. Here comes oh, Perez out. Oh, there's Annie. Let's see what she Look. can do. The goalie was. Oh, oh, oh that's got to be a goodness. foul. You got it. You got to call something like, come on. I mean, Whoa. I can see they put it, but she didn't. That was not just all ball. No. She might have lowered her body a little bit in that, because yeah. otherwise Annie wouldn't have done a flip. Number eight, Aaron <laughs> Sullivan just like hammers her. That was crazy. Yeah, I know. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, no, no penalty, no card on that one, huh? Not a card. I just, maybe a penalty kick would have been nice. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you would have uh, gave out? Uh, maybe not, because I, 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 the direction I'm from here now, we're a little bit far from the actual play. I, the referees definitely see it better than I do. So if they saw it, maybe the uh, player sold a little bit too. It has to be something, for me to call a penalty, it, it has to be really blatant. So uh -huh. I wouldn't have called that now. But as a commentator, I would love uh, to see it happen. And a fan. <laughs> yeah, as a fan <laughs> and a commentator, absolutely. The penalty shot. <laughs> now, whenever a game goes to penalty shots, players don't love it, but for the fans, it's, it's a dream come true. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Sue, and she was saying she feels bad for the goalies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. You were uh, yeah, I was there. Oh, oh, oh. Here, here we go. This is 2v2. huge. 2v2. This is huge. 2v2 to capitalize. This is, let's go. Oh, breaking ankles. Oh, no. That's a goal. Let's yeah! go! Goal! Let's go! Oh! <laughs> and I'm out of breath. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm what a goal, and hey! Fainted. Guess what? We're back in at 2 2. Aye. Just like that. Hey, that was three minutes off the clock, and it's 2 2. Amazing. Just like right that. There. Just like that. All right, I need to go talk to the scoreboard. It's 2 2. They got to fix right? that. Oh, wow. I predicted it. I said, Dover Sherman has the momentum. All they need is to capitalize on it. That's it. That's it. All they need is to capitalize. I couldn't see who's. Oh, hey, there that. it is. Two to two. Um, No, that was, that was again, that was Sumner again. No, it wasn't. No, it was Ava Kaplan. Ava Kaplan, my bad. Uh, yeah. yeah, Ava Kaplan. Yeah, number eight on the other side. Ava yeah, Kaplan. Yeah. Because yeah. it wasn't, I, I honestly think that, no, no I'm not going to disrespect the person that scored the goal, but that was Hope Shoe that set that up. That was totally it Hope was Hope Shoe. Shoe. Anybody, was all you have to do is just tap. There's me? nobody there. You just have to be in the relative area. Just, just tap it in. If that goal didn't go in, I would probably be on the field right now. <laughs> <laughs> but see, right now, you can easily say that Dover Sherman should be leading. And Medfield's definitely, oh, don't you wow. can, yeah, yeah. that's something I don't call. Now, that is a foul I don't call because that could easily have been a flop. True. Especially that Medfield needs to find some type of momentum right now. They were up 2-0 going into halftime, and it's a different game. Yeah, I know. It's a different, 12 minutes just uh -huh. came off the clock, and now this fourth quarter is going to be bonkers. Yes, it is. Maybe you know what? If maybe I, in the, fourth, in the, third, the end of the third. Yeah, if DS can keep this momentum going, Medfield is in trouble. I might go run out and celebrate on the field if it gets yeah, there. Yeah, I know, that. right? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator storms field. And <laughs> <laughs> Dover, Dover police shows up yeah, and takes commentator off the field. Uh, it's Hope Shoe and Annie Perez are coming off the field. Screaming. Well deserved wow. break. Great job by the two of them. <laughs> one one broken masks, two broken goals. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, I think, yeah, Elo Zulovic came in, and I think that was Milian. No, Novich has been in for the for the game. I don't know who else came in for that, but. Yeah, definitely giving them a little bit of a breather. Well deserved though. They need they need it. Absolutely. Oh, they need that. Yeah, in over the, the over the back. Yep. See, that is a clear foul. That's. I just don't think it was on Dover Sherman. I agree with the foul, just not on the team that called it. Mm -hmm. Because if anything, Caroline Gray was able to get pushed off by Medfield. I don't think that was it was over the it was over the top, but I don't think it was off of Dover Sherman. It's all right. We need a good defensive stand right now. We got Lily and Hope trying to, not Lily and Hope, Lily and Elo trying to blitz. Oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And oh, no. That was a shoulder. Yeah. They, they called it. Yeah, yeah. They called it off. Wow, Brad, you called it. Yeah. Nice. Hey, look at that. Brad, right. the soccer right. man. He knows his stuff. Yeah, that was off the shoulder. You can't do that. You can't the, do that. I got the eagle eye. Yeah, that was good stuff. Yeah. It was, no, was it the extension of the hand or was it? Yeah, it was the shoulder. That's what I saw. Yeah. Yeah, it, was, it looked like the shoulder. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah. yeah. yeah. If she went with the elbow, if she went with the like actual shoulder blade like that, she would've been good. Yeah. Uh, it's another no opportunity missed. Wow. 
<sighs> well, we need to open Annie back in the game. Yeah, no kidding. All right, girls, seconds, come on. Seconds they come out of the game, <laughs> it's already a tough, different breathe, type of game. Take your breather. Get back out there. They might be strategizing right now how to put this game away. Uh -huh. Hey, didn't you say you wanted? To, didn't you tell Medfield to burn some clock? They didn't listen to you, Brad. No, no. <laughs> they did not listen to you. <laughs> they, they decided to take a little trip to Atlanta. Yes, they did. Oh, oh, another opportunity. Sets it up. So that, that's where Annie Perazzo comes in right there. That speed would set Annie Perazzo perfectly in that situation. Oh, yeah. Beats everybody and gets the exact spot where you need there to be. Oh, look at it. A little fancy feet. Nice, nice. That's it. That's, no, that's not Ava Kaplan. That was two. Number that was 27. Uh, oh, that was Ava Kaplan. I thought that was number three, Natasha. Cool. Yeah, CO, yeah. I think we're a little bit back and forth. No, I think that was a good shot on goal. Good shot. Yeah, they're doing really good right now with their chat without two of their three captains. Yeah. Because the team's really balanced, really. They, the captains are more like a leadership position, but the team itself is really balanced. They're doing an excellent job just overall on the team. I don't understand what the point of the pylon is. You see the pylons on the red lines there? I don't, I don't, yeah, I know. Maybe they just put it there, but I don't understand the point of it. I don't see oh. a point of it either. Coach Everin trying to get all over the action. Oh, <laughs> I know. It's for the subs, yeah, I, know. I believe. Oh, oh, that actually is really smart. Yeah. That's smart. I did not think of that. Yeah, that's Emilia Novich coming off the field and Sumner coming off the field. I keep, just say, I keep saying Sumner's last name. But it is. Ooh, that hurts. Uh oh. Perezau. Oh, good. She's tough. Yeah, she is. Perezau definitely has been able to play through a lot of injuries in her past. Mm hmm. Yeah, Waverly Sumner. And there goes Hope. Oh, there oh, goes Hope. Oh. Oh, oh. oh then you got to get back. You got to get back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you making fun of the ref. Yeah. A referee gets to make fun of another referee. It's like, it's like I a, can't do it, but you can. No, it's kind of, it's like, here's the thing. An NFL player could make fun of another NFL player. But if, like, a, like a fan is going to do it, like, you don't play football. That's true. Think, That's about, it, think true. about it that way. Like, let's, like if you play a, a Dover Sherman sport, you can make fun of, like, another athlete. If you're – same thing with the referee. That's just how I view it. No, I, I, I feel why. That's why, like, I'm the Mike Pereira of the officiating team here. We got yeah, up yeah. in the booth. Colin That's, calls. It's like the, the funniest thing about sports radio is how much they like talk crap about somebody, and it's like, I know. you try to get you here, you take the ball. What are you gonna do? Exactly. I mean, there's not not a lot. Of, if you're an athlete, then you can be doing <laughs> exactly. Whatever you want. If you're not an athlete, then no. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, the referee's been doing a pretty good day, game so far. Tough game to call. A lot of tough. It, today was a fun game, especially as far as the game so far. It's, I expect the fourth quarter to be <laughs> nothing short of spectacular. Yeah. I don't know though. If we have to make, I'm not going to make any predictions, but it's a good game. What is going on with this ref? Sub coming in. Oh, shin guard maybe come out? Blood. Oh, yeah, blood on, ooh, on the oh, ankle. Bloody knee? Or oh, yeah, no, it's on the knee. Oh, that's ugly. Yeah, Caroline Gray coming out. That's Ava Kaplan with the bloody knee. Yep, yep, just heading over to the medical tent. Ooh, we never like to see those. That's yeah. ugly. The uh, the turf can uh, can do that. The turf? How about the cleats on the player's feet? <laughs> was it the cleats? You think? Or the you, turf? you think it was the turf, Brad? Of I think it, it could have been the turf. I don't think so. Unless you would want like full on sliding, I honestly would say cleats because if you're going for the ball, you would like jump up to kick the ball. Mm. I think it was. That was turf burn. Maybe I we can't see it from here, but no, but very well, you could absolutely. Oh, right. oh, oh! But that is a corner again. Nope, goal kick. Okay. It's like, let's ask her. Hey. <laughs> that was tough. That was that was a good kick right there. I think mm -hmm. that was Kate again. Kate has the ability to put the ball literally in the exact spot in front of the net. I think it's, it's Kate that's just, she literally has the boot just of a, somebody that could, like, kick it. She could punt it probably from the 10 on one side to the 10 yeah, on the other. She should be on the uh, the football team, <laughs> field goal kicker. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. That'd be awesome, by the way. Yeah, lining up for a 55-yarder. Unlucky there. Doversham ball, cheering. I, I like the, see here's the thing, I can chirp the teams for cheering for just kicking the ball out of bounds, but at the end of the day, <laughs> I, it's good. It's good because it just shows team spirit and team motivation, and that's always good, especially like, you, the Medfield Warriors should really be proud of that, for the fact that they like support just the team as a whole. No kidding, did you see them coming in on the bus yeah, cheering the exactly, JV team? exactly, exactly. They yeah, made so much noise, hey, it was unbelievable. But at the end of the day, that's how your team 
gets better and how your team just pretty much, it's, it's like the wind behind. All right. Spirit. One minute, 46 seconds left of the third quarter. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's get it on. Let's go. Let go. All right, I think that's Annie Perez, though. No. No. Lily Tom. <laughs> Lily Tom said again, again. <laughs> Brad, me and you have to apologize to the viewers at home for messing up every single name. Yeah, that's Lily Thompson. Uh, it's know. hard to say. We should be able to honestly just be able to, like, get a drone and fly it on the field. I know. Make, I've been saying make that. Making the commentators work for it. Seriously. It's unlucky. Especially with these tiny little numbers. Absolutely. Blend in with the jersey. So hey boosters, if you're listening, next jerseys that you guys buy, let's uh have a drone throw in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean the drone. The drone too and just make the numbers white on the blue. I like that. I like the idea. Ooh, let's see, Annie Perez are trying to do something. Uh, I think that was to Lydia Smith. What a boot! What a nice clear by freshman Tessa Broderick. I think Tessa. I think the defense has been playing all game. I don't. I haven't seen Abby, Kate, or Tessa getting subbed at all. No. That's I impressive. Mean, yeah. That's impressive. A full game, both cap. But I mean, at the same time, the offense have been running a lot more today. Yep. But iron. No, but the defense. It's, it's, yeah. it's the iron D. So, yeah, the iron woman D. Ste no, the steel curtain. Yes. Steel curtain. I think that's a corner goal kick. Nice. I didn't see that. Under two minutes left in the third. Oh man, this is gonna be a fun fourth quarter. You oh, and Brad might man. get. We might. Maybe we might be on the field. You never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. You Let's might see, see us. <laughs> Lucky, lucky fan gets $1 million if they can spot us on the field. Uh, that's funny. Yep, yep. And that's the end of the third quarter. I mean, we didn't think we were going to be here, but here we are. Tied 2-2, going into a huge monumental fourth quarter. This is Mika. This is Brad. We'll be back really shortly in two minutes. Yes. Enjoy the intermission. everybody it is two points from the Dover Sherman Lady Raiders and two points from the Medfield Lady Warriors it's a fun game what do you think Brad what are your opinions oh, on the first three quarters oh man you know what I think it's just an exciting energetic game and uh, it's just amazing right now honestly absolutely Medfield's gonna start off with a kick and it's crazy too because like Medfield could have totally been up if they didn't if if she was able to use that shoulder more on that mm -hmm. rebound. I mean, you so. could you could say that too, and you can also say those missed opportunities by Annie early in the beginning of the game, her and uh, her and Hope, they really could have done a lot more. Very true, but yeah. the only difference was that one was in the back of the net. That is true, that is true. So. All right, well, Medfield right now is pushing up, but there's Olivia Smith to stop that. A little bit balanced out. And then also we heard uh, the Warriors at, at the, in their huddle and uh, geez, yeah. they were. Oh man, <laughs> the coach on the Medfield team oh is getting goodness. fired up. He is. He needs this win. He is excited. Oh my, he was so fired up. <laughs> uh, uh, there's Kate trying to boot it out again. Doing a good job. Kate, uh, the whole defense has been playing the whole game, and it's really impressive to see what they've been able to do. No rest and seriously bringing the energy every time. It's really cool. It is. Oh no, uh, this is an opportunity yeah. for Medfield, but ooh, oh, nice good catch, catch by uh, Cor Courtney, uh, I was gonna say Courtney Sutton. Right. No, it's Courtney Mahoney. But it was, it's a great catch, she's doing really well, especially as, a, like I said, second week that she's taken over and doing this. It's impressive what she's doing. Seriously. The amount of pressure she's put in, because not, not only just taking over the shoes of who she's trying to fill, but at the same time, this team with, with Coach Everton, this is a winning team. You mm -hmm. expect to be a, in a winning situation on a winning team. That's just, you're not going to come here and, and expect to lose. It's just not going to happen. That's absolutely right. Uh, let's see what they can do. Medfield's coming up the field right now, but Dover Sherburn is saying, no, 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 not in our house. <laughs> oh, 
must protect his house. Yeah, Waverly Sumner tries to intercept that a little bit too much. Ava Kaplan right off of that little, she taped her uh, knee up a little bit. Me and Brad were fighting over. Was it was it a turf burn? Was it a cleat burn? We don't know. Uh, I don't no, know. No, I don't no, know. No. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Wow. Look at that. See, that's Kate Master Bona mm -hmm. right there. That is why she's a captain. She does plays like that that just separate herself from pretty much anybody else on the field. She sacrifices herself. Because at the same time, Hope and Anna are going to be making those plays that put you up on the board. But when you're up, you're going to need Kate to protect the mm -hmm. goalie. That's for sure. That's how, that's how it works. The stay-at-home defender. Absolutely. Gotta Absolutely. love it. Vital piece of yeah, it. Let's see what let's, let's see what Medfield tries to do here. Oh, they nice nice boot. Nice. Waverly Sumner really yeah, coming into her own. She's impressing me. Oh, that's a foul. Yeah. Oh no no no! The referees missed that. She extended her hand. That was going to be a clear foul. I would have called that already. Mm. That is something that I would call though. If when you extend your hand like that and outside of the player, and it's clearly they're going one on one. So. In, like in that type of situation, maybe he just called an advantage on her, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I can input. I have my referee input that I can put in there too. <laughs> I love it. All right. Oh. Okay. Well, they called that. <laughs> He's a good referee input here. There you go. Hey, you got you got two two different generations of referees. One on the field and one up in the stands. Exactly. Uh, feel like they've been working maybe a little bit more longer than me, but hey, seven years of refing ain't that bad for me. Hey. You can't find refs. Don't, to don't cut yourself short. Yeah, You're a tremendous slouch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Brad, you can come take my job anytime. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I want to. I want to see you I come. Mean, you're up a tremendous. Of you're a tremendous rep. I'm sure. All right. Well, let's it see. Let's see if Waverly, Waverly can. Oh, oh, she tripped on herself. I wow. Thought. They called. I think they called the push and the trip. Oh, hopefully she's okay. No, I think she's fine. I think she just tripped. She's good. But I don't know. Those, these are like oh. the ticky-tacky calls that you would call. Yeah, true, true. You have to call them eventually, but I don't like mm -hmm. calling them. There's a difference between you have to and you like to. Mm. I hate doing it. I know. I hate doing it. It's super. But see, that's it's why it's hard to make friends as a ref. <laughs> hey, you do make friends with the other referee. <laughs> yeah, no, you got one friend out there, and it's the other ref. Yeah, the coaches occasionally like you. Like, true. It depends. Depends on the referees. All right, let's see what happens here. Nope. Yeah, that was a bad idea by DeSalvo, but luckily nothing happened. See a lot, a lot of nose exposure out here. Oh no, no. Brad here, the COVID, <laughs> the COVID guidelines like you better cover up your nose. You, know, you can't, you can't spread COVID through your nose, Brad. You can spread it through your mouth. No, but they say that. Oh, oh, this uh, is huge. Yeah, that's this ooh, is huge. Shot on goal. What oh. a save. Well, I'm telling you, I told you at the beginning, the goalie from Medfield for the majority of the game has had the balls come straight to her hand. I know. It's she doesn't have to even jump for that. No. I mean, she did, but she didn't have to. No, she didn't. You're right. And that kind of makes it a little bit easier. They, at the same time, I don't know why Waverly's all the way up there. I don't know why it's not Hope, because if that's Hope, she'd be taking a different shot. I know. Or, or Deke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Hope also isn't the type of person that's going to take the shot. She, the thing that why Hope is the captain is because she's the type of person that's going to be selfless and give up that shot to a teammate just so they can guarantee themselves to making that goal. Yeah, that's such a special player. I'm telling you, there's not that many. You're not going to be able to no. find many players like no. that, especially in, in not even in high school soccer. You're not going to be able to find many players Unsung like that. Unsung heroes. Wow. Uh -oh, nice. uh oh. All right. Well, here comes Matfield and wow. Kate Master Bona. Kate Master Bona. You know, you, you just yeah. expect her there at some you point. Do. You expect her. Yeah, fit 14 minutes left, and it's still anybody's ball game. People are getting anxious on the sidelines. Coaches, players, referees, <laughs> commentators. <Yeah. laughs> exactly. I was going to say us. Oh, the ball's getting cleared right now. Yeah, Medfield's still showing some signs of life. Yeah, absolutely. Even the the police came to watch the game because it's so good. Yeah, well, they were excited. They, they heard a commentary and they were like, "You know what? There's this Brad Crandall guy. <laughs> you know, we got we got to go talk to him." Uh, uh, Lily Thompson's getting ready to check in, but there goes Waverly Sobner right up the sidelines. Let's see what she can do. Let's, let's see if she can go. capitalize. Oh, 
Uh, I don't know what the point of that for Manny was. I think she was trying to force it somewhere where it just wasn't available. Ava Kaplan. Ava Kaplan. Tries. Tries. No success. Annie Perizzo. Foul. Oh, my uh, God. This is flopping. See, look at that. Pretends to be injured. <laughs> slaps the ground and gets up. All right. That's flopping. Hey, not as bad as professional. Hey, I completely agree yeah. with you. They would still be on the ground. Yeah, but I feel like the referee, I don't know. I feel like the, the referees have two different styles of calling the game. I feel like the one on the Dover Sherman sideline right now might have been calling a little bit looser of a game than the mm -hmm. one on the Medfield sideline. But I'm not going to favor the referees. I'm not that type of person. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good steal by DeSalvo. Oh, nice center pass. Just went a little, a little bit too sharp. Yeah. yeah. Not too far to the left. Yes, exactly. Good terminology, Brad. Mm-hmm. Me too. I mean, I got to have good terminology. I'm the, re <laughs> I'm the referee here. <laughs> I'm the rules analyst. <laughs> and you have your own sports show. Yeah, there you go. You got my sports show. You got my referee <laughs> career. <laughs> and you got the commentating show. I feel like this has become more of a reality show <laughs> turned into a, re a Brad and Mika reality show rather than just a it's just a regular game. So like they'll start putting the camera on us. <laughs> so let's take away from the field. Right, let's go right, focus yeah, on the people talking about the game. <laughs> In between the action. Uh, it's Ella Zulovic coming off on the sidelines. Ella Zulovic, not Ella. Her, her younger sister Ella was on the game before this. Um, Dover Sherman Ball. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I feel boom. Ah, like uh, deflection. <laughs> boom deflection. <laughs> oh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> boom deflection works too. Uh-huh. All right, nice defensive oh, play there. This. Get that out of here. Let's see this. Nothing much to give on there. Oh, that's Hope Shoe trying to see if there's any little breathing space over there. Tries. Out of bounds. Dover Sherman ball. Yeah. Woohoo. Love the great sportsmanship in this and, game. And that's why that's why this game is so much fun to watch because mm -hmm. these at the end of the day. These are athletes, but they're also people that like want other people to succeed. They want people to enjoy the game. Exactly. It's just awesome. They're not trying to hurt each awesome. other. No bad blood. Do you know where the name soccer even came from? I, you know, I think I did hear of this. I think because the f word football, they were like, ah, oh, you use your foot. You know what? What? What's inside your foot? The sock. So the word, it's, the, I don't know why they said call it soccer, but I know that it comes from the socks that you wear on your foot, on your feet. Hub. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Oh my. Oh, it's a penalty save. kick. I think it's a penalty kick. I think it's a penalty. That would be awesome. I think it is a penalty. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Brad. Wow, this is exciting. No. Oh. Ah. Oh, I didn't see it. Cause the referee pointed, the, he pointed towards the way of the goal, so I wasn't sure. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they're doing an indirect. Or is it just, I can't see what they're doing. Is he calling a corner? Yeah, I can't see what they're calling. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, Dover Sherburn's gonna try to kick this in. And I tried to kick this in, so this is like an, yeah, so I was for, a second, I, yeah, for a second I thought that was gonna be a goal kick. I'm like, no way, right? That, 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 all right, so. And all the players are confused. The referees don't know what they're doing. Cause like, look what, look at what <laughs> Medfield, look what the Medfield's doing. They're what, just it's free, what? It's a free kick from first, there. First one I hit up, Medfield player wins. <laughs> what is going on? I say put Kate in the box. Put Kate in the box. All right, I'm gonna have to film this. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm gonna have to go down a couple steps all to right, get the no, best all possible right. angle. All right, let's oh, see this. Wait. What? They're doing the tap. Oh! Oh my goodness. See, I don't, here's the thing, here's the thing. Let me just break it down. Is it a rule? Why do you have to tap it to the other players and then give it to the goal? I don't understand that. Why don't they just try to kick it in? Yeah, I agree. No, I should go ask, I'll go ask uh, coach after to yeah, yeah. figure it out. Because I don't understand the logic behind that. No, me I, neither. I don't, the JV team wasn't doing that. Why do they have to kick, like they have to touch it and then kick it? Why can't they just go straight to the kick? 
Is, is it because of COVID? Wow. It is COVID, yeah. yeah that's, that makes that's no sense. Like, but, oh, what, but anyways, that was a great save by the Medfield goalie. Uh, okay, yeah. Unbelievable save. Yeah, that's unlucky. Oh, I see. I've been a referee. I didn't know that. I did not know that you had yeah. to touch. I did not know you had to touch the ball and then kick it. I did not. Hey, I did learn something today. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you saw the midfield uh, goalie, had to work for that one a little bit. Hey, you know it's tough. It should not be two two right now. It should yeah. either be three three or something else. Uh huh. Okay. Good stuff. Dover Sherman still has the ball. Here we go. Hope. With you. Oh, oh, that's oh, a pull. That was a that's penalty. A pull. That was a pull. She was tugged on and the jersey. And Mike is on the field. <laughs> she no, she was tugged on the jersey. I saw it, too. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I did see the pull there. I did. See. Okay, I was, I, was, I was watching the pull, so I, I didn't see the second part of that. Sorry, Mika. I called you Mika again. You're good. You're good. Everybody gets it confused eventually. I know, right? Mika, Mika. Potato, potato. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, seven minutes left. This to is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. To this day, I've never heard anyone call it a potato, though. <laughs> and I really hope you sell out. <laughs> I'm hoping. It's I'm like, hoping. that's not normal. <laughs> All right, Courtney Mahoney. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Oh, we want it's something coming good out of this. down, isn't it? Absolutely. That is Dover, uh, Dover Sherman still has the ball. I think they call subs in. Yep. That's Ava Kaplan's taking a little bit of a breather. Mm -hmm. And we got Ella Zulova coming in. Ello. Ello. It's so, it's so hard. There's an Ella and then there's an Ello. You've got right. to be super like specific to when you pronounce it. It's tough. Oh, well, that was a uh, shot. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I don't think Medfield really had anything better to do on that. It's a goal kick. Yeah. I don't think they had anything better to do. I mean, no. there, was, there was four defenders there. They had to do something. Yeah. yeah I really wish they had overtime. And then that would be fun to I watch. I know. I mean, it isn't playoffs, but yeah. I remember there was one game last year that they went to penalty kicks and Hope Shoe won it for the... That was so it was, awesome. It was a crazy game. It was a crazy game. It's on our Instagram, actually. It still is? Yeah. Awesome. You gotta really dig for it, but it's on there. Yeah, you know I will. I love yeah. the DSC TV and stuff. Yes, DS. Yeah. They give they give everybody shout outs. The unpopular opinion show, Earth TV's exactly. on there. Exactly. You got everything there. It's a perfect. We just need to get a couple more followers on it. I know. That's all we need. That's DS Cable TV, one word. Follow us if you want to see all the all Aws the stuff. awesomeness on mm -hmm. presented to you. Oh, well, there's, that's Lily Thompson. See, I didn't mess it up this time. That was Lily Thompson. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Annie Perez is waiting for the ball, because once Annie gets the ball in open field, I think that just her and Hope, just the two of them. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at uh -oh. that. Ho no. But I'm saying, if Annie and Hope, it's a 2v2, I'd take them over anybody any day. You know what, yeah. Speed plus, uh, ac speed plus acceleration is going to get you a goal. You're right. Maybe not precision. I, I'd honestly, I just don't, I feel like, in terms of power, I'd give it to Annie, but then accuracy, probably hope. Well, yeah, those are literally two uh, high school all-stars. Exactly, yeah, right absolutely. That, that I'm surprised really they haven't committed to college yet. They didn't? They haven't? Oh, it's raining now, apparently? What? <laughs> it's raining? I have to call a game That's in the rain? Oh, 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 no. <laughs> no. That might be selfish. Oh, no. Here comes Battlefield. Make this even worse for us. You might, yeah, you might twist your ankle on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I broke my ankle. Even the police are getting mad that, that it's raining. They're like, yeah, nah. They're, yeah, like, I'm, not nah. I'm not arresting people in this weather. Peace out. <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't know. It's only drizzling. I really hope not. The clouds don't look oh. pretty. Look, I, it came out of nowhere, too. I know. Look at all the clouds. It's surrounding us. Look at, it's getting worse, too. You know what? I'm going to check the weather forecast. Three minutes left. And now my, my plane is getting involved. <laughs> It was it's such a perfect day. Oh no. Unbelievable. 
Make sure you wear your DS rain jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Every, you can go to DSCTV.com to purchase your rain jacket. Limited editions. Terms and fees included. Uh, DS cable gear for sale. Well, three minutes left. It's definitely coming down to the wire. Mm-hmm. It's fun. And it's fun. Here's Annie. Yeah, it's Annie Perez. You can see by the cleats. Oh, here she goes. Oh, here she goes. Sick. Too much. Too much. Too far behind. Yep. She kicked it to herself one extra time. That was just that unnecessary mm -hmm. kick that was going to put her too much to forward of it. She needed to play a little bit more conservative to keep it. Like maybe, maybe not even across yet, but maybe try to look for a teammate. Yeah, I agree. that might have that might have been a good idea there. That one extra. All right, let's see what happens. Abby DeSalvo trying to play this off. Nice pass there from Diaz using the field. Absolutely. And look at Hope just speeding. I mean, that's what she does. That's what she's known for, and that's what she's good at. Man, I bet track and field wanted her, too. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you never know. We have uh -huh. multiple sport athletes. There was also um, a couple years ago, we got a player named Eric Linden. Used to play for soccer. Was an excellent soccer player. Now he uh, runs track on BC. Oh wow! Yeah, D1 uh, athlete. He's one of the best in BC, just overall. Whoa. Yeah, it's really impressive. Amazing. Hey, Dover Sherman is an athlete factory. You no come kidding. in here, you get out of here, you're gonna get something good. Right. Yeah. Um, oh no! Uh oh, dangerous spot, and they just get it out. Dangerous. All right, under two minutes. And it's Annie yeah, Paris. Yeah, oh, I mean, arms. Really, yeah, arm. yeah, 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 yeah. That was an arm. Yeah. She knows. Yeah, it. that's an arm. I feel like it was. she wasn't intending to. She was just, here's the thing. That's why I hate calling handballs, because there's some points that, like, you clearly need to you do it on purpose. But there's, like, you're running and your arms are out. And it's so hard to call because you're not actually good. I don't think she did that on purpose. Maybe no, she, was, she was trying no. to get the defender off of her. Exactly. She wasn't trying to get the handball. That's just tough. That's tough. All right, Annie Paris. No, oh. too far behind. Oh, no, this, look, this game's looking like it's going to be a draw unless unless something huge happens. But and here's, here's a Lily versus Annie 2v2. Oh, this is good. This Lily is good. and Annie 2v2. Huge. Oh, oh, what a save. What that, a boot. That was an incredible save by the midfield goalie. Oh, my God. Right? And look, she, the midfield goalie slips. What too, a on this save. Turn. That was incredible. That was a diving I, I save. Know. I thought the I thought the shot was gonna be pretty bad. The shot was beautiful by Lily. Scully's made it was not, some good it, save. It was an awesome shot by Lily too. It was literally perfectly placed. Yeah. You you because otherwise it would have went too much to the right. That was a perfectly placed shot. It's the goalie. Good stuff by the goalie. Mm-hmm. Gotta commend her. It's getting close. It's getting close. Everyone's nerves are up. Nobody knows when it's gonna end. The goalie. 11th grade, Isabella Brown. Yeah, well, she's, play, she's playing like a college student. Yeah, no uh -oh. Uh oh Oh, Woo. great defensive play there. Woo. That could have been dangerous. Saves it right there by Tessa Broderick. The whole defense has been, I mean, at the beginning of the game, just getting a little accustomed to it, but they really held up their own. Oh, here we go. Last chance. I'm honestly going to say this is the last chance of the game. Bring everybody up. Uh, no, oh. unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, that was a tough shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the refs are looking at their clock. And that's game, yes. everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. That was quite the game. It really quite was. Quite the energy boost that was there. And it was a lot of fun. Dover Sherburn Raiders finished the game with two points. We got the Medfield Warriors with two points. It was a great game by both teams. I will be back here tomorrow commentating the JV and the Varsity Boys soccer team. Me. Um, Mika Gat. Brad Crandall. We were happy to be here. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome Saturday. Yes, enjoy.